everyone welcome back to my channel coloring cake today i thought i'd come on and do a updated coloring book collection and i've got a few little bits that you've not seen before um so here it is it shouldn't take too long because i don't have that much at the minute but it is growing um and i thought i'd just have a little a tiny flip through not a full for flip, flip throughs um oh that's one of my daughter's hurts off a rainbow we made a rainbow on the window with hurts <laughs> um yeah so i thought i'd give you all a little look if you're new to coloring or you've just not got any of these books and you want a little look then do comment and i will do that for you so i'll start with this one and this I actually won um, as part of one of Colour Me Stress Free's giveaways on her YouTube channel. It was for 500 subbies, if I remember rightly. And she's now on a thousand. Well, more than a thousand, so yeah, hey, yippee. But this book, I love it. Absolutely love it. I've done, I don't know if it's four or five images in it. Um, yeah just stunning that was actually a buddy color with color me stress free um so i love this book i do need to get myself the alice um i think it's the alice book is it of hers as well so i don't have that one at the moment but yeah it's really good quality paper i mean i've used all sorts of mediums in this watercolor neo colors i've absolutely packed it to the rafters with glossy accents on those fish that are just Let's see if I, you can see the glossy accents to get that on it and the paper is just brilliant brilliant so that's a good one and you can get this off amazon i think i will try and put as many links to these books in the description as i can for you pop to the side the next one I've got is Mandalas by Colliar. Now I was actually gifted this one for rev review by them and I do love it. I'm not a big fan of Mandalas. Um, well, I wasn't, um, but I do seem to pull this off the shelf when, um, you know, when your mind's not in it, you're a bit frazzled and you can't concentrate, but you just want to do some mindless colouring. This is really good. So I've done lots in this one as well. And like I said, the paper in this is really good as well. It's it's almost like a cardstock type paper. It's really thick, really thick. Um, so if you are interested in this, this is also on Amazon UK. Like I say, I love this one for just sitting in front of the teller with gel pens or markers. It's a really easy one so that's amazon as well pop that over there next one i'm going to show you is one of the very first coloring books that i got the color as wild 2 this is the only one out of the collection that i have i do believe there's four books um again you can get these on amazon between 10 and 15 pounds um there's two of each image so there's 14 images but there's 28 all together um, so what I did, I coloured the 14 images and I give the other 14 to my daughters so they had fun. So this has had a lot of pages ripped out of it. Um, but I did complete this and I have given some away. One to my mum, which she's framed and she's going to put it on the wall, which I just think it's so nice when they want to do that. You know, they, they must um, really like it to want to put it on the wall. Um, and there is one in here that I still need to pass on to my sister, but I've not had a chance yet with the lockdown. Well, to be honest, I should have given it a long time before the lockdown, but I didn't have a chance. And now, of course, I can't go around. So. But this is a beautiful book. Again, the paper, really brilliant. And like I say, I have done all the images in here. Um, I'll give you a quick flip through. This, all the images aren't in here because, like I say, I have given... I have given one away but um they're just beautiful i put stickles on 
used everything on this paper i've even stuck sh my daughter's shells on this one i still need to get myself a frame for this one i keep saying it and i keep forgetting to look look for frames but yeah and they don't take that long to color so if like you don't want to commit to anything too detailed they are nice little images that you can just do in a couple of hours you know this is the one i'm gifting to my sister and she's got some glossy on her eyes and sparkle and that's my daughter you can hear in the background <laughs> and there we go so don't want to spend too long but you can get a rough idea very beautiful books and not too expensive either the next one i have is fairy celebrations by clara markova this is the first book i've had of hers and it is beautiful um i've done one page in here i believe you get a little bookmark to color which is sweet and a little welcome note there and i did the title page but just so you can get an idea of clara markova's style i'll just give you a quick really sweet really sweet again the paper in these is really good um, this one's quite hard to get in the UK at the moment. I do believe Amazon is, is not selling it anymore. Um, and the shipping can be quite expensive if you get this from Etsy. Um, I will try my best to put the link in the description of um, the lady that I bought this off. Um, but I got this for £28 with um, shipping included in that. So yeah, but if you try and get this on Etsy uh, with the shipping on top, on top, I believe it's about £35. So it's quite an expensive one. Next I have Tanya Bond Inklings. Now I didn't get all of these. Um, she does have an Inklings 3 as well, so I'm missing that one. So I've got Inklings, Inklings 2 and the Astro Inklings. Um, again, very beautiful. I've only coloured in one of these boots so far and I do need to start colouring them. Let's give you a quick flip through so you can see her style. Very cute. These are ones that she's done. Very cute. I'll do, I have done one in this one. I'll show you the one I've done. It was on last month's finished colouring pages. I think it was in here. Was it not? Ah, it's at the back. At the back. Did that one last month. It's just beautiful images. Put that one there. We have the Astro Inklings. So these are your star signs. Again, very beautiful. I think I can hear my children arguing. <laughs> Nothing new there. Nothing new. Um, Kirby Rose and, and a sticker. <laughs> Sticky tip. Um, I've only done one in this. Oh, it's really bad, isn't it? I need to come back to this one. Oh, that's off from my Mariola Budek. Don't know what that's doing in there. But yeah, I've only done one image in here and it was this double page spread. And that took me. I think it took me all week that one. But beautiful, beautiful book. You just have to have a bit more time on your hands to um do these ones because they are quite detailed. Very intricate some of them. So that's a good one. You can get these ones off Amazon as well. Most of these boots you can get off Amazon, to be honest. We have... This was actually the first boot that I got. Um, when I first started colouring, I think. I got gifted some Joanna Basford, and then I bought this. So, there is some questionable colouring in here, because it's the very first... <laughs> should I show you the very, very, very first thing I ever, ever coloured? Do you want... 
apologise for my daughter. <laughs> noises. She's autistic, so she makes the most loud screechy noises you've ever heard. <laughs> but yeah, this is the first um, colouring that I ever did. So, you know, let's have a laugh here. Let's have a laugh. It was that one. Um, I really thought it was really good at the time when I did it. I thought it was brilliant. But now looking back, I'm like, hmm, questionable. <laughs> But it just goes to show, you can just look back, it's quite nice to look back and see how far you've come. Because you do improve the more you colour. But yeah, this was the first book. I thought, oh, that was another one I did. That one wasn't too bad, it's quite nice. Um, That was a more recent one. So you can tell the difference. You can tell the difference. There's one more in here, I think it might be towards the back. I used a tea stain. There. I used a tea stain for the background. So yeah, that's Hannah Cows and Soulmates, and you can find that one on Amazon as well. Um, oh my, my favorite artist, pop manga coloring book by Camilla Derrico, and I've actually just got a print from her. Um, I bought one of her prints. And it's a little, um, one of the fuzzbots, one of the little bumblebees that she draws. And it's, um, cause I'm a big, I'm a big fan of Star Wars as well, me and my partner. And so it's a little bumblebee and it's got a lightsaber and it's called Luke Skyflyer. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad, but yeah, I love it. So, so <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did that as part of the Hope. A hope rainbow and a thanks to our NHS. Um, I've done a few in here to be honest. But I do want to do another in. I do want to do another. But you can see. It's all manga. Just beautiful images. Look at the eyes on that one. And these ones are on off Amazon as well. Um, they're cheap these ones actually. I'm sure they're only about eight pound now these ones, and she does have a mermaid one as well. Um, really, I cannot recommend these enough. If you if you want these, get them, get them. Beautiful. Another Kirby Rose am his newest book, Worlds Within Worlds. I love this, and I'm gonna do a body color with Shellarty. Um, if you're not following her already, give her a f subscribe on YouTube. She's on there. And she's on Instagram as well. And she does have a Facebook page as well. Um, a Facebook group. So I'm going to do a body with her. I'm going to do the sloth. If you've not seen the sloth, I'll try and find it. Oh, there was my double page spread that I did last month. So you do have to have some patience to do some of these. You really do. Look at that. Look at that. I would have to be in the right zone to tackle that. Really would. <laughs> oh, look. They're just amazing. But again, Amazon, if you want any of these books. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. I don't know where this sloth is. I don't think it wants to be found. Never do when you're on the spot, do they? Like, no, I'm not going to surfaced myself it must be at the back sorry about this but i want to find it <laughs> if i don't find it this time i'll give up oh there was my candlesticks there he is so i'm going to do this as a butter color with shellette so i'm looking forward to that i'm going to start that one on monday so that's my kirby rose and wills within worlds off amazon you can get that Right, now I have my Galaxy Girls and Zodiac Signs by Misty Cat Mirrors. Now I'm not going to, well, I'll give you a little loop, but I'm not, I'm going to be careful because I've got something um, that's a surprise in here for April's finished pages video um, that I don't want people to see. So I'm going to try, this is going to be hard. I'll give you a little flip through with some of the images at the front. But they are beautiful. If you've not seen Mr. Cat, oh no, you've seen that one already. Yeah, I'll show you that one. Where was it? This one's already on my Instagram. 
Um, I turned her into a alien for Alien April, hosted by Colouring Adult Colouring for UFOs. But the beautiful Luke Pisces, I think that one is, because the star signs, aren't they? Just beautiful. And I got this one off Etsy um, on her Etsy store, Misty Cart Mirrors. So look out for that one. I will put all the um, links in the description. But again, that's a beautiful book. And she does sign the books. Um, she signs them. Beautiful. Next up, we have Sweet and Simple Whimsy Girls by Hannah Lynn. This is the only book I've got of Hannah Lynn's. Um, and I do tend to use my markers in these books because I find if I just want to do a quick, simple colouring that, yeah, sweet and simple, that I come to these ones. Um, so I have done a few in here for this month. There's a few little ones with marker pens, but yeah, very cute images. Very cute. And this one you can get off Amazon. It's not expensive. So that's that one. Um, I've only had a couple of issues of the colour in heaven. Because if it's not something that I'm going to colour in, um, then I don't buy it. But this was the first issue that I bought, which was the Dark Fantasy Special by Ennis Guerrero. And I really enjoyed these images. Um, really enjoyed them. Um, I do need to come back to it actually and do some more. But really beautiful. That was one I did. Really enjoyed that one. And I was super impressed with the Arteza 120 set of pencils. That's what these pastel shades were stunning in it. Stunning. Um, but yeah, you can look out for the Colouring Heaven magazine in your local supermarket. Or you can subscribe to get them through the post. Um, obviously if you subscribe to it and there's a edition that you're not really interested in then you have sort of you know it's a bit of a waste so I prefer to pick and choose which issues I want to buy and I get them from my local, local supermarket they do tend to have them in all the time so and they are in the UK where's the price £5.49 for the issues and um, the other issue I bought was the most recent one which was the Fantasy Princesses special. Um, I'm actually annoyed with myself because I started an image late one night in this one when I was too tired to colour. You know when you just can't sleep, but you were tired and I started an image and I was like, oh, I wish I hadn't done that because I've just ruined it. I've barely done anything, but, it's, but I hate it. But anyway, this is lovely and the images are lovely. The images are by Josh, Josh Lee. Um, beautiful. I'll give you a quick look. Ignore the one that I've totally ruined, please. No, there we go. Horrendous. I don't know why I started doing that when I was tired. Please, God. I'll not do it again. But the stunning images look. How beautiful is that one? I'm glad I didn't ruin that one. <laughs> but again, if your local supermarket do have these, it's worth going getting this one. It's beautiful, beautiful images. Obviously, don't make un unnecessary journeys. If you're already going for your food um, shopping, then by all means, pick this up. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at that, look at her. I love elves. I absolutely love elves. I'm going to have to do that one. But yeah, local supermarket, £5.49. Or you can subscribe online at Colour in Heaven. Um, I think they, all the details for subscribing are actually in here. No, sorry. How about that? Yeah, that's all about the artist. Is the website am i totally just going blind oh there to subscribe 
visit shop.anthem.co.uk and you should be able to set up a subscription on there. That's if you want to receive all the issues. So the next one I'm going to show you is beautiful. And I can't believe I've left it this long before I've tried this artist's books and work. I really cannot believe it. And it's the Maria Trollet or Tra Troll. Um, Dream Reese beautiful i'm in love with this book like literally she may be one of um, my next favorite artists um i'm gonna be careful because the one i'm doing i don't want to show i'll show the one i put on instagram which is this one and i did this one as part of the woodland wonders um but let's just have a look at some of these images look i have done a complete flip through with this so i don't need to go on and on um if you want to see the full flip through of this book it is on my youtube just look under videos or look under my playlists that say flip through flip bleh, flip throughs and you'll find it on there this one was off amazon again i do believe yeah amazon my daughter's just shouting. I don't know what she's shouting. She's not shouting me, but I don't know who she. I don't know who she's shouting at. It's a madhouse. Madhouse. Who else has got a madhouse? Five kids here. Lovely. Right. The next one I've got to show you is my PDF folder. I'm not going to spend too much time flipping through this one because I think my kids are getting a bit loud and rowdy. I need to go and sort out some of it. <laughs> well, they're not really. I'm just curious. Um, this was the Tantoned Mariola Budex set of art that I got. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've only done one image and I do need to come back to it and do some more. But, yeah, beautiful. Again, it comes signed. It does come um, bound together. But then to colour in them, you really need to take them out of that binding. Then when you've coloured, you can bind them back together again. Um, but beautiful. The Tantone is just so beautiful. So, so this is one I did last, was it last month? Or the month before? I can't quite remember now. It seems ages ago. But I was really proud of the tail on this one. It took, I cannot tell you how long that took me. It took me hours, hours and hours just on that little tail. But it was just worth it. I've got to do that one. My daughter and my son love doggies. I love them. Look at the hair. If you want this one, it's Mariola Budek. You can get this on her Etsy store. So again, I'll put all the links in for you. If you want this one. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There's where you can find her. This one was a free image on her Facebook. So this is Mariola Budek again. These ones, Mr. Cat Mirrors. Christine Caron, PDFs off Etsy. Again, there's so, so many of them I need to colour. It's so sad leaving them in the folder all blank. And uh, this one was one I did last month, Christine Caron. This one is by an artist called Swish or Sush on Etsy. Again, I did this one. These ones are Digi Stamp Leah on Etsy um, by artist Real Guerra. Very cute images. Very cute. This image was free on his Instagram. Um, yeah, baby Ursula. Cutie. These ones are by Fab Illustrations on Etsy. And if you're going to be taking part in the Harry Potter um, event in June, I believe, um, that Vicky is hosting, these are nice images that you could colour. There is a Luna and a Dumbledore as well. <laughs> um, these were free um, by Johanna Basford. So if you go onto her Facebook or Instagram, you might be able to still find these. And she has just released, or is due to release, another free um, PDF download. 
beautiful, beautiful images. Just a shame I haven't had time to um, do any of them yet. But yeah, they're all Joanna Basford's. You can tell her style. These ones, this was another free image. <laughs> it's quite funny. And um, this one was by Sherry Baldy on Etsy. But I do believe you had to click onto a link on her Instagram mm. that took you to, to, you to her um, website where I got this, I do believe. And there was two different um, styles. These was also free downloads by Selena Fennec. I think that's how you pronounce it. So these are all Selena Fennec. Lots of mermaids. So it's mermaid next month. These ones are Rosary Sawana Mama, if I've pronounced that correctly. And my daughter saw these and you should have seen her face. Oh. <laughs> She was so embarrassed. I said, here we be. She's 11, my daughter. I said, here we be. Why don't you colour me, mummy? I, I can colour one, you can colour the other. <laughs> Her face. Her face was a picture. Oh, gosh. Um, This was a free download. Oh, my gosh. Why can't I remember? Was it Anna Hannah is her name? If I've got that wrong, I will apologize now and i will put the link in my description i'm sure it's anna hannah um but yeah beautiful beautiful we've had lots of birds in our garden recently ones we we don't normally see so cute um this is rosary sawana mama again and i colored this um to donate to my local icu it's been picked up on the weekend this is not the original i photocopied um my color in then i could put it in my folder i'll show you the original now that is going to my local icu you ready are you ready <gasps> there she is and she's in a frame there that's going to my local icu you can tell this is the original because I've got glossy accents on the eyes and nails. Um, it's not going to pick it up, but, you know, I'll give her a French manicure. <laughs> but, beautiful. So I hope they appreciate that. I just, you know. And there's a copy for my folder. But they've got the original. So I'll pop her up there. Um, I think that might be it. Yeah, that's it in here. The only thing that's in the back of here now is the colouring um, checklist challenge that I've been keeping on top of by Colouring Chat with Sammy. And I've just been ticking it off. So I put the PDFs away now and I'll bring you on to the next book that I've got. And this is by Camilla Derrico again. Um, I got this off at Amazon as well. And I thought I was just, you know, we're all in lockdown. I thought I would try my hand at something new. So I got this book and it's a 30 step by step lesson for pencil drawing in the pop surrealism style. So I have done a flip through of this book if you're interested in taking up a new hobby like me. A bit of drawing. I am rubbish. I'm not good at drawing in the slightest. But I just want to give it a go. I don't care if it's rubbish. I don't care if it's good. I just want to have a go and as long as you're enjoying something that's all that matters isn't it so these are the um, beginner pages right at the front and it does really just take you through step by step and it tells you the steps here at the side and then the image so do you want to see what I've started and mind you I've only got up to like um, step six I think did I get up to step six or seven? And then I had to give it a break because my hair was, the hair was stressing me out a bit, to be honest. But I will show you. Don't laugh. Don't laugh at me. Drawing, you lot. Are you ready? So this is my little sketchbook that I got. It's a cute little sketchbook. Uh, this was Amazon too. Everything 
more or less is Amazon in my will. And this is her. <laughs> I don't even care if it's not perfect. I don't care if it doesn't look like hers. I'm not finished yet, but it's getting there. The eyes are okay. It's just the her. I'm just really it just really looks all like one big mess at the minute but i am step six so i am at the very start of um yeah hopefully it'll look a bit better when i've got to this part but i just find it really cool to try something new so to do it i got this book i got this sketchbook i got a couple of mechanical pencils which are the faber castell i've got a few different sizes I am enjoying this pink. Pink, who doesn't love pink? It's got a rubber on the end. Um, so it's a 0 0.5. I've got a 0 0.7 and oh that's a 0 0.35, but I've got a 0 0.7 as well. And then I got some micron pens, which I do believe are supposed to be really good and don't smudge. So we shall see when I decide to use those. I also got some little bulldog clips um, to hold the pages back, you know, when I'm trying to do some deco drawing. <laughs> and I got a few single Holbein pencils because you can purchase them in singles on Jackson Arts, Jackson Arts Supplies website. So I did get a few different colours, which I've not tried out yet. I have swatched them but I haven't tried them yet and I got the soft white Holbein that was where is it soft white Holbein see it says use knife to sharpen I said that on one of Vicky's streams and they're like no yeah don't use a knife you'll cut your hand off <laughs> I actually will because I'm really bad with knives so maybe I'll just get the sharpener right but this pencil um everyone's raving about this soft white Holbein pencil and it's only a couple of pounds to buy a single. That's my daughter. <laughs> oh, children screaming in the background. Um, so yeah, only a couple of pounds on Jackson Arts to buy the singles of these. Um, so if you can't afford the full set, it's nice to just build, build your collection up over time, which is what I'm doing. So I've really enjoyed doing this. If you want to try something new, you don't have to be brilliant. You just have to enjoy it. So. Uh, and I've just had a little arrival. I've just had an arrival delivery of the Hannah Carlson's Midnight Masquerade book. So stay tuned. I'm going to put a separate flip through video of that on very, very soon. I'm so excited. Thank you for watching Colouring K. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. Ring that notification bell if you want to receive notifications when I put new content on. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye, guys.